Hi, my name is Larry Sly. I'm the executive director of the Food Bank of Contra Costa and Solano, and I've worked with this organization for over 40 years. Uh, when I began, uh, we were a small agency, two people. We distributed about 30,000 pounds of food to 19 emergency food pantries. We are now an organization that distributes over 20 million pounds of food a year to 180 nonprofit organizations serving Contra Costa and Solano County low income people. We have grown dramatically because the need is very much part of, of what we have to respond to. We work in two ways. Uh, we distribute a lot of food through member agencies, other nonprofit organizations, churches, soup kitchens, food pantries, organizations like that that are helping people in need. But half the food that we distribute goes out through direct service programs. We provide food through a program called the Community Produce Program that provides fresh produce in a mobile farmer's market at 55 sites in Contra Costa and Solano counties. More than 3 million of the 20 million pounds that we give away goes through that program specifically. We have other programs that provide food to low-income children, low-income senior citizens, and people in the community who just need help. Of the food that we give out, more than half is fresh fruits and vegetables, which has been a dramatic shift in the work we do. So what we see is we are providing much needed healthy food to people in large amounts and a lot of it being fresh fruits and vegetables, which from a health point of view is exactly what people need. The food bank is also incredibly lucky because we are able to do our work because a very generous community provides us with the funding we need to help folks in need. Actually, more than half the money that we get comes from individuals. We have an $11 million budget. It costs a lot to run a food bank but more than half comes from people who are willing to support the work that we do. But we are in a very privileged place that we depend on the community support to make our work possible, and that's something that provides a very stable base for us in the work that we do. In order to make that uh, continue to take place, we have a responsibility we feel we owe to the people who provide us with those resources. So we have kept our overhead and administrative costs down to four cents out of every dollar. So 96 cents out of the dollar that people gives us is providing transportation, acquisition, and distribution of the food that we are able to get access to. We also uh, have a strong multiple. We're able to get $3 worth of food out into the community for every dollar that we get donated to us. And each of those dollars allows us to provide two meals to people in need. So we think from a business point of view, we're a great program for people who want to invest in providing food to people in need. And from a philanthropic point of view, we do care about the people we serve and are having a profound difference on making people have the good food that they need. Our work depends on the community to support the work we do, and we depend really on three things. We ask for people to give us food. We do food drives throughout the year. If people have donations of food that for one reason or another they're not going to use, please give it to us. We can provide it to people in need. The other thing that we need to ask for is volunteer time. Uh, we have over 90,000 hours of volunteer time given to us each year. Everything from serving on our board of directors to sorting food to helping with distributions. We need people power to make it work. And finally, we need money. It costs us a lot to do the work we do. And again, we have efficiencies in the way we provide food to people that really make that dollar an excellent investment in providing food to people in need. So those kinds of things. So we ask people, step up, give us your time, give us your food, give us your dollars, and we can make a difference in the lives of hungry people in our community.